getting this seventh Egyptian annual dialysis conference. And actually, it is a landmark in our society and in Egypt. Uh, believe it or not, I am a little bit afraid because on the banner, two eminence HDF font. So please criticize me, but not so much because you may find something maybe very odd even to me. Don't worry. Yeah. Primarily, I am. I like HDF either acute or chronic hemodialysis. I use it a lot. And I, when I got this subject, I was delighted. I took it right away because I want to learn much about it. Uh, how can you use this? This one? That's They invent the daily because they didn't find 
concrete evidence from the three times HDF. And economic, which is my two, high flux, daily extended, daily hemodialysis convention, and I put a column here, is that Egyptian hemodialysis. We are speaking of HDF, and we don't do even convention well. So, the next item about hemodialysis, and just I will go through this, because Ahmad Abdelhadi mentioned, we have different modalities, all of you know, but I just mentioned that this is, for example, the ultra filtration without the dialysis. If you put a dialyse aid, this is dialysis. Most of you know that. And if you do by uh, put it with a, a dialysis and convection, this is a convection modality. And we have different nomenclature. This is the diffusion, and this is in hemodialysis. And we got a lot of equations. And this is convection. If you read the paper, it is a convection modality, which is replacing HDF. And hemofiltration is convection alone. A lot of equation. You may have a replacement fluid pre or post. And if you combine this with dialysis, this hemodiafiltration. And hemodiafiltration, recently it is online, maybe as a part of CRRT. And uh, you must use a high flux membrane because you cannot do HDF without a high flux membrane. So, what about uh, the dose, frequency and time important for dialysis? This is a nice paper showing that actually the length of the duration of dialysis does not affect the mortality much. If you, sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, if you compare
this is the papers, different papers, just think about it. This is hemodiafiltration compared to dialysis, and this is a Dutch, I got a paper, or sorry, a German, I cannot read German, but I look to the abstract, and this is from May 2015. The background is the patient in the stage dependent on coronary replacement, so HDF may be a good, and the method systemic review of the paper coming from September to October 2013. And the result, they search 14 relevant studies, three large randomized studies, and one reported, and what is the result? The result, the remaining body of evidence assessed has no robust evidence of HDF better than the high flux, and appears probable that this positive influence of HDF with a high volume exchange, and only large study was used, but no reliable evidence for better quality of life even after treatment of HDF. And hemodiaphyl filtration, another study coming from Cochrane uh, Library, and in the background they have 40 studies with 4,000 adult patients, and see the results. Many reduced deaths if using HDF, in comparison to the convention, the convention is used better by high flux abroad. And overall, treating 1,000 with the convective dialysis, replacing this is the HDF, may reduce the blood pressure force. We know about that. Actually, I put my patient because of the low blood pressure. But there is no evidence that convective dialysis influences the chances of hospital admission or other side effects. And other paper coming from the same, the other conclusion, it is inconclusive and unreliable. And this is uh, published. The effect of hemodial filtration compared to hemodialysis mortality, and this is coming from the American Journal just last year, AGKD. And the background of about HEDF, 16 trials, 3,000 patients, and the conclusion is symptomatic hypotension. We do that. Beta 2 microglobin level, yes, we know that. And very strongly, I don't know the etiology, they are getting kidney transplant better. I don't know if it is related to HDF, but this is the conclusion. So the conclusion, the potential benefits of convective modalities over standard HD for cardiovascular even outcome and mortality remain unproved, and further studies we need. Effectiveness of the safety of different modality, study selection, still many studies they didn't take except if crossing 20 adults population, see the number. 36 studies, approximately about 7,000 uh, patients. And they classified, but look to the result. High flux versus convention, they used sometimes, was only significant when diabetic patients. They tried to get something to know. No significant difference was reported in the quality of life and clinical outcome. And still we are in the same study. The result, the conventional hemodial filtration versus the conventional HD high flux, we don't use high flux, it's seldom made. Mortality and morbidity rates did not differ significant. And this is in another review article from the day. And there's a conflicting result. Still, we are in this. The conclusion is definitive conclusion cannot be drawn. Just to take a look, maybe they do something with no high volume. So this is actually in, in acute kidney injury, something like Ahmed mentioned. And this is the clue. They said, this is in ACR. They said that a high volume in a certain, not severe and not enough. This is Claudoronco. And they caught it from Cleveland, Ohio observation that the high volume may be a clue. And he actually uh, published these cases. But, and uh, forgive me because I will speak about acute in only this paper because it makes something. This is a three randomized trial involving 64 participants in ICU. And they checking the, even the high volume in the sepsis, which actually I believe it, and I still believe it, it is. In acute, the conclusion, no adverse effect, but there is no insufficient evidence to recommend the use of high volume HDF critical in patients with severe sepsis. Although I admit, I believe it, I use it as one of my indications. And this is the study which has a little bit better. 
But uh, I didn't get the study. It is published in Seminar of Dialysis because the European love the HDF. And they said newer evidence has become available regarding the clinical pattern. Actually, this is the second report of European dialysis because they're thinking about HDF. But look to the up-to-date. The up-to-date, actually, this is getting the data till September 20, 2000, 2015, and the topic is published just a few days. High flux dialysis may have a number of long-term effects. Does not improve survival, except if the patient lasts many years. And actually, even the high flux does not differ between the low flux, except 8% mortality, which is not a difference. Still, we are in the up-to-date. They remove the small solute hemodial filtration pattern, but you must have a high flux with 60 ml per minute as a perfusion, and this is called from the ETA. Virtually not used in the United States. Of course, the up-to-date is American, and European love it. Some claim, and actually this is the actual words, may be superior than hemodialysis. So, in reality, Hemodial filtration has got a biochemical benefits, salt removal, urea creatine beta 2 microglobin phosphate has got a clinical benefit, cardiac hemodynamic instability, cardiac hypertrophy, of course hematological as we heard from Professor Canu, quality of life, nutrition, dialysis, rhythm, this hospitalization stay, but limited data, patient survival, which is the most important is, we have a conflicting data. And daily hemodial filtration is raising because the three times it's not working based on the, and actually this is the actual phrase from the up to date, based upon theoretical models. We are not speaking about theoretical, we are speaking about patients. And this is actually the reference, although it is old. So I will leave with a question, HDF, is it real benefit to be used in all patients from day one? With all the possible helping effects, think about whatever you want. I will you make it better. And Mr. Chairman, this is my last slide, my last statement. If you cannot get an undisputed, as I showed you, promising result from the optimal use of a modality of HDF in its better shape, how can you expect to get one by its suboptimal use doing what you call it economy once a week. HDF online may be of use in some indication, I believe in it, but not generalized and do not prove to have fact patient survival. Economic HDF, and this is my word, is a waste. HDF online once indicated, and I believe in it, feasible, and it is feasible to do, do it, but do it properly. And thank you very much.